Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. Today, I'm going to present the topic of deep reinforcement learning for DC-DC converter parameters optimization. My name is Fang Hao Tian. I'm a PhD student in KU Leuven, Belgium. In this presentation, I will start with a brief introduction about design automation of power electronics. And then I will explain the details of power loss modeling for commuters, including the semiconductor loss and magnetic loss. After that, I will introduce DeepQ network, which is one of the reinforcement learning algorithms. Then the next part is simulation results, and the last part is the conclusion. I'll start with the introduction. Nowadays, new energy technology is becoming a critical research topic. For example, the electric cars, uh, solar photovoltaic system, and wind power system. In the meantime, power converter plays an essential part for those emerging energy technologies. Because power converters are widely used in all kinds of those applications. So we can see that power converter is one of the enablers to new energy technology. However, in the other side, new energy technologies give more stricter requirements on power converter design, especially for its efficiency, volume, and mass. In the power converter design, there are many factors that affect converter performance, such as circuit topology design, magnetic module design, and the choices of semiconductors and other components. All those factors make design itself a complex activity, because combining each possible design and magnetics and each choice of components can result in a large amount of possible designs. With thousands of possible designs, in order to define the optimal one, the computation becomes uh, very expensive and time-consuming. However, AI has been developing rapidly, and it has the potential to deal with the complex design problems and speed up the overall power computer design. That is why the topic of design automation of power electronics is drawing people's attention. Refreshment learning is one major branch of machine learning, other than supervised learning and unsupervised learning. The idea of refreshment learning is to allow the computer to train itself by interacting with the environment, and in the meantime, adjusting its decisions based on rewards, and finally find the optimal scheme to achieve the goal. So we can see that um, refreshment learning <coughs> is a machine learning training method based on rewarding desired behaviors. One of the major advantages is that no labeled data is required for training. The agent can understand the environment by adapting different actions and receiving different rewards. So the definition of environment and rewards are very important for the reinforcement learning training. Uh, next, I will introduce the power loss model, including the semiconductor loss and magnetic loss. Mm, due to the long linear properties of power loss modeling, especially on switching loss, mathematic methods do not always work well. So we use spice simulation to calculate the switching losses, which can provide concise information about the circuit's dynamic properties. And Python programming is used to control the spice simulation in different scenarios. However, spice simulation can typically take a, a large amount of time when the frequency is high. So to obtain a, a concise efficient efficiency model and in the meantime accelerate the optimization procedure, the data from the spice simulation are connected to train an artificial neural network. Here is the structure of the network. Uh, with the input of frequency, capacitance, and inductance values, the outputs are the average input power, output power, and also the current and voltage ripples. As for the inductor design, in this paper, an EE shift core is, is used 
and the equivalent C ship is analyzed for designing the inductor. Uh, the losses on the inductor are mainly core losses and winding losses. Uh, for the cone losses, the improved uh, Steinmetz equation is used for uh, estimating the core loss. In the meantime, as for the winding losses, uh, considering the current ripple, the skin effect is considered. In the end, the winding losses can, uh, can be uh, the assumption of DC re resistance loss and AC resistance loss. Uh, the next part, I will talk about the deep Q network. Well, uh, the basic idea of reinforcement learning follows the Markov decision process, which is described by a tube S, A, R, T, and pi. Uh, S is the current state of the agent which is a vector, and the dimensions of it depends on the system. A stands for the action that the agent takes. Uh, so the state is updated based on this action. And T is a transition uh, function, which indicates the probabilities of the state in the next step uh, by giving the current state S and action A. R is a reward. When state is updated, a reward is given to the agent accordingly. Based on rewards, the agent optimizes its action scheme. And pi indicates the updating policy of the agent, mapping states and actions. After training, reinforcement learning gets an optimal policy which can make the agent updating towards the way of getting the optimal rewards. Uh, in the DQN algorithm, uh, two artificial neural networks are introduced, which are an evaluation neural network and target neural network. The input of both neural network, neural network is the current state, and the output is the possibilities of taking each action. So based on the output of the neural network, uh, action can be decided. Uh, and in the same time, the two neural networks share the same structures. The difference is that the evaluation neural network updates itself for every step, or target neural network stays unchanged and copies the evaluation neural network after a certain number of steps. This is called a reply memory scheme. This scheme can increase the stability of the training process. Uh, then is a simulation result. When it comes to the DC-DC power converter design problem, the iterative updating process is as shown in this figure. Here, the state S is defined as the frequency, capacitance, and inductance values, which are also the inputs of ANN module. The actions are defined as parameter tuning movements, which means there are three tuning options for each input, which are increasing, staying unchanged or decreasing. For the state with three variables and three possible actions for each variable, there are 27 possible updating actions. The definition of reward is critical for DQN. For the scenarios, when the ripple and volume constraints are, are exceeded, the reward is defined like this. Here, K is a large negative number working as a penalty factor for exceeding the constraints. This penalty can train the agent to avoid to exceed those constraints. For scenarios when the constraints are not exceeded, the reward function is defined by the efficiency. And in addition, when the efficiency is larger than one expected value, an extra reward of 50 will be added. In this way, the agent tends to find a scheme to increase the efficiency, um, and also it tries to find the value that can exceed a certain expected value. A simulation of 1,000 episodes with 600 steps in each episode is conducted. The average reward in each episode is shown here. As you can see, the average reward during the training process is increasing. At the beginning, the average reward is negative due to the penalty factor. 
After training, the agent learns how to avoid the penalty and reach the state that has the maximum reward. Because in the training, randomly sampled data are introduced to train. And in the meantime, the negative reward value is relatively large because of the penalty. So the curve is not smooth. Uh, it has some random negative average reward in some episodes. Then the final part is the conclusion. In this paper, a DQM-based parameter optimization algorithm is proposed for improving the DCDC power converter design. Firstly, an artificial neural network is constructed for modeling the function between components parameters and operation properties, including efficiency and repose. Data from spy simulations are connected for training the AN model. Secondly, the reinforcement learning concept is introduced with a special focus on DQM. Then, the DCDC converter parameter design problem is formulated to the DQM framework and DQN the chain. Finally, the agent learns how to tune the parameter automatically and obtain an optimal scheme to maximize the reward. The result shows that reinforcement learning has the potential to improve the power electronics design automation. That is all my presentation today. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any comments or questions, please contact me. Thank you.